Hey, you tens, how's it going? It's nice to see you all. Look at that, people are already there and waiting. Amazing. Dom, it's a chemistry lesson. <laughs> uh, Dom, you were so funny yesterday. Papa made me chuckle. Oh, dear. You, you were just so upset about the lesson ending early. Like, that's weird, Dom. It's very weird. <laughs> Set about the lesson ending early. Most most students really like it when a lesson ends early. <laughs> right, I'll do the register. We've got Dom. We've got Lava. How Ping's in the house. Got Libby. Got Caitlin. Nope. <laughs> I love that, Dom. Nope. Lynn, got Lynn in the house. <sighs> got Mel. That was the saddest lesson ever. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. It, it wasn't that sad, Dom. Come on. It wasn't that sad. You had no homework. You had an extra 20 minutes of free time. I mean, come on. Can't complain of that. Audra's in the house. Tiffany's here. Kayla, hi. Kayla, you need to update your homeworks. I just sat there staring at my chem book for 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, Dom, so, so sad, sad times, sad times. Kay oh, hey, Ryan, good to see you. Ryan's in the house. Uh, Kayla, you need to update. I'll just quickly go on to the, uh, the, the document. I'm pretty sure, Kayla, you need to update your things. I'll just quickly check. Might not be the case. You might have updated it by now. Oh my God, sorry, I keep on forgetting. Do you wanna do it now, just while I'm doing the register? May as well update it. That'd be grand. Still missing Atia, Amani, Zach, and Sophia. That's it. Got most people here already, which is amazing. Come on, where are they? I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna check the, the reporting document so that way you guys can just, and if you've got them, there's that here, I'm literally here. <laughs> I, I love the fact that you put literally. <laughs> uh, Sophia, Zach, uh, Mr. Duncan, do you have, do you not have eyes? Uh. Atia, you haven't said hi on the chat. I, I'm not, I'm not psychic, you know, look. <laughs> Are those glasses just for show? My glasses look good. So, three people missing. Amani, Zach, and Sophia now. Are those glasses just for show? Ooh, ooh. Guys, solubility today. We'll get it done. Whoa, come on! Solubility. There's Zach! Sup, Zach! Just gonna check that. I still haven't managed to get onto that document. Let's see if I can track it down. It's all banter. It's all ban joke. I still love you and your glasses. Ah, thanks, Atia. <laughs> it's all banter. Do you know what? I love the fact. Oh, A level. Oh, yeah. Uh, do you know what? One of the best things about you guys in year ten is because I feel like I feel like I get to actually just talk with you guys. You guys are great. You guys are fab. I love our banter. Uh, Atia, Atia, you're missing three homeworks. <laughs> I'm on the document. You're missing homeworks. Uh, Zach, you're missing two homeworks. Water crystallization and percentage yield. Hey, Amani. Amani's in the house. Amani's. Just Sophia to go. Just Sophia to go. Four minutes. Four minutes in. Nearly done the register. Come on, Sophia. Come on. Our marker is missing, and then I will add her on later. Done, done, done. Yeah, Atia, you're missing three homework marks. I'm still missing Sophia's homework for the acid base. I just forgot to check the answers. Oh, fair enough. And Amani. Amani. Like, I'm too sad if I get anything wrong. I don't want to see, oh, don't say that, Atia. It's all about just getting better. You guys are great. You, your results in this class are amazing. Like, they're just brilliant. 
Amani, you need to put in your uh, your marks uh, for the acid base homework. Okay, guys, let's crack on. I like it. I'm excited. I'm excited. No homework to go through. Amazing. Just taking off my keyboard. Right. Share screen. Sha sha. Sha sha. Sha sha. There we go. We're up and running. Up and running. Okay. Right, guys. So we we ended. Let's go to 10A. We ended down here with the kings and queens. <laughs> Do you know what? That's not what we ended on. Definitely, there we go. We're way out of sync. Solubility, there we go. I keep seeing the kings and queens thing. I just can't, I can't forget Zach. Zach, it's just brilliant. So let's go for solubility. So new title is solubility. So we've been in acid base. Let's do solubility. I should actually do acid, but I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna put solubility. Eh. Solubility. So, Learning objectives wise, I think I probably put them onto the. Oh, well, that's not the pen I wanted. Let's go for black. Black. Learning objectives. So I need you guys. I put the learning objectives onto Hail King Zach. Love it. <laughs> I love it. So I need you guys to understand solubility. Solubility. Solubility curves. Yeah, solubility curves. I'm not my pen thinner. I don't like it. No like it. No like it. No like it. Solubility curves for solids and gases. Like it. Next, I need you guys to know your solubility rules. Solubility. Hey, by the way, that's the solubility song. It was a big hit in the 60s. Yeah, I think Dan, Dan from Manchester has returned. I say, that's funny. Dan was actually on, um, oh, what was it? I don't even, at Libby, what color is solubility? What color is solubility? Uh, <laughs> uh, no idea what that means. Like, that's why she's directed it at Libby. Um, oh, <laughs> apply, apply rules, apply Apply solubility, sol rules to reactions. It's really lovely that. Okay, that's what we need to be able to do. So three learning objectives. Now the first thing is what we need to do is we need to recap key stage three. Um, blue, or did Mr. Duncan just admit that he's old? Thanks, Dom, thanks. Otherwise known as Danks. Thanks, Dom, Danks. Um, yeah, key stage three. Solubility. I, I think it was the Beatles. Solubility. Um, so key stage three, solubility. So we, you guys learned this concept of, so the first thing we need to do is, I just, I, what I wanna do is I think we better do facts. Let's do facts. Yeah, I think that's the way to go on this one. Let's do facts. So number one is like, I, we, we need to talk about this solubility from key stage three and this idea of what's actually happening. And I, I, do you know what? I can't stress this more. This is where I've got to try and track something down on my laptop. You guys can see what I'm doing, of course. Backup files, uh, pen drive, BSKL, year seven, key stage three stuff. That's definitely not where it's meant to be. Year nine, I don't know why that's there. Uh, atoms. Boom. I like it. So we need to have a, 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 an idea of what dissolving is. Yeah, we need to pick up all of our words. So, uh, and by the way, molecular versus ionic. Quite nice that. Does she see the difference? Yeah. Uh, I'll do ionic. Ionic just, by the way, the same process is happening. I'll run it twice on the, on the video. Uh, I'll fast forward it. So when, when salt goes into water, what the water does is it pulls the pulls the ions apart. Yeah. So first one, first thing to, for us to say is number one. Number one is solvent. Solvent. Solute. Oh, I'm suddenly realizing the seven S's of solubility. Ugh. Solvent. Solute. Soluble. Solution. Solution. Solubility, oh my goodness, all the S's. Solubility. Solubility, 
saturation. Oh, do you remember all these? Saturation, sediment. Oh my goodness. Is that the seven? The seven S's of solutions. Um, I'll put sediment. There we go. Is that seven? Yeah, look at that. Rattle them straight off. I like that. So each of these does have a definition, and they 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 don't they it's so rare for them to ask these at GCSE, but every now and again they do. And I, I just want to cover the, the main ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to star the ones that you've got to know. You've got to recognize solvent. You've got to recognize solute. You've got to recognize uh, solubility. And you've got to recognize uh, saturation. Yeah. These are the main ones. You can also do a solution there as well. You realize that basically all of them are required at GCSE. But I'm just going to run some of these. So number one, solvent. Yeah. Solvent, the liquid part, liquid part of a solution. The liquid part of a solution. Yeah, most of the time, brackets, most common, I'm just going to put, I'm going to put brackets H2O most of the time. Yeah, H2O, most common. Okay, next. Next one, what did it mean to do solute? Solute is the solid part of a solution. Solid part of solution that can that, that dissolves that dissolves uh, so in this case brackets the example here being salt yeah sodium chloride next solution a mixture and that's important yeah a mixture a mixture of solute and solvent that seems reason reasonable solute and solvent seems reasonable solubility now this one solute you have I keep, I keep singing every time now um i'm now going to just put a really big fat star on this yeah this one is the most likely that you guys are going to see at gcse yeah most likely yeah the the mass the mass in grams, in grams of a solute, of a solute that can dissolve, that can dissolve in 100 grams of water, grams of water at 25 degrees Celsius. Now, can I just point out that that definition there is is this is really odd for me as a chemistry teacher because this is super specific for edxl can i just say i actually hate that the the correct definition the correct one and, and i know that I'm, this is a nightmare because what i want to do is i need you to learn this for edxl this is the one that's going to come up in your gcse exam yeah but I don't like it. What it should be, the mass in grams of a solute that dissolves in a fixed volume of water at a fixed temperature. That's what it should be, yeah? The mass, the mass of a solute that can dissolve, can dissolve in a fixed volume of water, fixed vol of water at a fixed temperature the reason why a fixed temp that is the correct definition that there is what it should be and it does irritate me that edxl decided to take uh their own spin on things what edxl now as a result of that definition i actually really i don't know what, I, I like the line as a result edxl do something very strange is that they quote solute the units of solubility are grams per 100 grams of water yeah that's what it is grams per 100 centimeters cubed of water just to point out it's nice for me to quickly remind you guys that the density the density of water of h2o is one gram per one centimeter cubed what this means is if so eg if i have 25 centimeters cubed of water 
of H2O, I've actually also got 25 grams. Yeah, because, oh, will they not accept the real answer? Annoyingly not, Dom. I know, isn't it, isn't it ridiculous? And I have to be very aware of that. Yeah, in fact, when I came to BSK and I started teaching at Excel, that was one of the first things I stumbled onto, was how they have this uh, specific definition that they wanted for solubility. Go figure, yeah? Okay, so, so no, they won't accept the real one, it's a nightmare. Okay, next, solubility, saturation. Saturation, saturation doesn't have a song. Saturation, nope, nope, doesn't exist. So saturation, um, when no more solute, will, when no more solute, well, no more solute, solute can dissolve, can dissolve in a solvent. Yeah, it's, I just like to think in my, in my mind, all I'm thinking is max out. Yeah, it's it. You can't get any more in it. You're done. It's 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 a maximum point of no more. So uh, the the story I always give to my year sevens is the fact that I my, my stepdad called Peter, nice guy. My stepdad, um, when he has a cup of tea, and by the way, this is not a joke. This is totally real. Um, when he has a cup of tea, he has what are the conditions for super saturation? Oh. Libby, such a nightmare. The sugar story. Tiffany, how do you know this? Have I told you this story before? Yeah, he has seven sugars in his cup of tea. And it just drives me nuts because there's no point. Yeah, the solubility in a cup of tea for sugar is probably maxed out at about four teaspoons. And he has like seven. So at the end of his cup of tea, he just has this sediment. <laughs> it just makes me want to gag. This is sugar, solid sugar at the bottom of his cup of tea. It's disgusting. It's just grim. And I have this big argument with him every time. Peter, do you know that seven seven sugars won't actually dissolve in your cup of tea? And he goes, I don't care. I want seven. It's just, oh, uh, uh, it's a battle you can't win. <sighs> you know, step parents. Uh. So I know E, right, Ryan? Right? E, it's grim. Diabetes. Yeah, Ryan, I've been waiting for the day. Waiting for him to be like, oh, by the way, I've got diabetes. I know, right? Anyway, so we've covered the, the, the key words. What we now need to do is just talk about what's happening. Dis little subtitle, please, folks, is dissolving. Yeah? Uh, does he just crunch the leftover sugar? Atia, do you know what? He doesn't drink it. He, what do you know? What he he gets to like the 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 dregs. I hate that word. The dregs of his tea, and he doesn't have it. The last little is, as soon as he sees the sugar, he's like, "Oh, I'm done with that now." Stupid! What a waste of sugar. Makes no sense. Anyway, so dissolving. Let's draw some pictures. Yeah. So what we know dissolving is is that we have. Let's draw a little tiny little ionic solid. Yeah. So we've got an ionic solid here. Yeah. And that, do you know what? I don't like it. Looks like it's a gas. Don't like, no like here. Oh, but then I can't overlap them either. Gonna have to zoom in on this, right? Oh, best I can do. Still don't like it. What, why? I know! Exactly. Minus, plus, plus, minus, plus, minus. There you go, I didn't even say in the right order. Amazing. So we've got our ionic solid. And what we now do is, Oh, it's not letting me move up. There we go. We're going to add this now to, to water. And what we know happens is that what you form is that the, the ions are, are pulled apart. They're separated. Yeah. Uh, I've got to have the right number. God, I have that. There we go. No, no. Uh, there we go. So the ions separate. When they go in, that's the process of dissolving. Yeah, so we've started off with a solid and we've ended up with aqueous. Yeah, so the ions separate out. Now, um, just to let you know that they tend to, this question at GCSE, I'm always, I'm always trying to bring this back to GCSE and especially to exam style questions. So just to give you an exam style question, yeah, 
the most common version that you tend to get, mm, made it too big. The most common question you get will be the fact that they've got this beaker of water and in the bottom they have their solid. Yeah. And the one that they tend to really like, and I don't ask me why, is potassium permanganate. Uh, the reason being is it's dark purple. And I mean like crazy dark purple. That doesn't actually cut it. It's so dark, it's almost black. Yeah. And what they then do is they then draw this picture, the next door picture. Yeah. I'm sorry that it's just so crummy. Yeah. And then what happens is the purple color goes becomes like this. Yeah. You end up with this purple layer at the bottom. And then what they do is they show you a third picture at GCSE, a third picture where the whole beaker is purple. And what they'll say is, they'll just simply say, state the state, so this might be step one. Yeah, let's call that step one. And this one's step two. And they would say, which step is dissolving? And you'd go, step one. Yeah, question, dissolving? No, <laughs> dissolving, question mark? And the answer is step one. Yeah, step one is the dissolving process. And then they'll follow it up with step two, question mark? Yeah. And the step two, of course, the answer is diffusion. Yeah. So it's nice to show how they link together. Yeah. We, we're explaining that we understand that the particles are being separated by the water and then that those particles will then spread out from a high concentration to low concentration over time by diffusion. So, OK. OK, the next thing is solubility rules. This is still key stage three. Yeah, this is still key stage three. Nothing's changed yet. So what we then talk about is um, solubility. So I'm, really, I'm going to make my pen a bit thicker now. I'm so, yeah, there we go. Solubility. Solubility. Solubility versus temperature. Yeah. And I think everyone remembers this. Yeah. So if I take, uh, if I, Mr. Duncan. Yes, Audra, how may I help? <laughs> Am I going too fast? What about the pictures? Um, what do you mean, what about the pictures? So, okay, so in the ionic solid, in the solid, we've got all the ions closely packed to each other, yeah? And then what happens is they're broken up and they, they spread out, yeah? They, they're broke, they dissolve. And then, of course, what's happening is they're then spreading out from an area of high concentration to low concentration, yeah? which is dissolving in the stages. Uh, yeah, so step one, step one is the dissolving process. This is dissolving, yeah? Because if you watch the animation, you restart the animation, yeah? When it goes in, this is the dissolving process. The water particles start to pull it apart, right? It has now dissolved, it's now vanished. The particles are now so small I can't see them. But then what they're going to do is they're now going to spread out. Now it's diffusing. Yeah, they're spreading out until the greens and the purples are evenly distributed throughout the whole mix. Does that make sense? Yeah. So the dissolving process is step one and the diffusion process is, is steps two. Does that make sense? I hope that helps. Yeah. So the step one is dissolving. Step two is the diffusion. Yeah, and they do love to ask that. Cool. Oh, I confused both of them. No problem. No problem at all. That's what I'm here for. Just ask away if you're unsure. I'll always help. Very welcome, Audra. Glad you asked. So the next thing is what about temperature and solubility? So we learn two facts. Yeah, number one, uh, solid, solid, solutes, solid, bracket, solutes. Yeah, solid, solids increase solubility solubility as temperature as temp increases let's have a look at what that looks like so on our graph what i would have here is i would have temperature down here temp degrees celsius yeah let's start at room temperature 25 celsius and go to 100 since that's boiling point of water, yeah? What we're now going to do is we're going to have um, solubility. Solubility. Solubility in 
grams per 100 grams of water. Yeah, and we're going to draw a line. So sodium chloride, and I'm going to do these in different colors. Yeah, so sodium chloride. What you can say is that the sodium chloride, I'm sorry that I'm late. Oh, hello, Sophia. Locks up late. So what we can say from this line is that as temperature increases, yeah, description, describe, yeah, describe. As temperature increases, as temp increases, so does the solubility. So does solubility. Okay, now here's the next weird bit. Here's where it requires a little bit more. So that's that's the kind of the basic key stage three bit. But the next thing is not all solids behave in the same way. So the next one is let's do KCl. There we go. So KCl, potassium chloride, yet yeah, potassium chloride increases much more as the temperature. So we could say there's loads of sections in this. So we're going to say describe. Yeah, describe. I don't know why I put describe. That's hilarious. Describe. Yeah, KCl increases. Increases with temperature, with temp, more than an ACL. They 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 do a, do a comparison on that one. Yeah, and then we can do another one. Let's do. Let's choose, I don't know why this is where I get all my graphs wrong. I'm kind of making up solubility curves and I shouldn't. Let's show you what these look like for real. Yeah. Solubility curves, images. And GCSE are gonna pick on this. Yeah, GCSE will give you a select number. There we go, check that out. Oh, KCL's a straight line. Ooh, ooh, it was a straight line. So there you go. So I made a mistake. I, I shouldn't really. So KCL, uh, yellow. Go back to yellow. Ah, yellow. There we go. There's KCLs. Maybe a bit steeper than that. Maybe. There we go. There's KCLs. Let's look at the next one. So we've then look at potassium nitrate. Holy moly. Potassium nitrate's insane. Yeah, potassium chloride's even more bonkers. Look at, uh, oh, cesium, ugh, or cesium, cesium sulfate. Oh, breaks a rule, don't like that. Don't like seeing that. Yeah, oh, look, there you go. There's one straight from a GCSE paper. Yeah, A, B, C, D, and E, yeah. But the point I'm trying to make is, there you go, there's another one. Potassium nitrate, look at that, wowzer. So I can do one more, I'm gonna do it in blue. Potassium nitrate, there we go, KNO3. So, but what they're doing is, what we notice is that they're all increasing. Now, they're gonna do really clever things with this, yeah? So solid, solutes, increase solubility as temperature increases. Right, uh, I'm gonna do the next one and then we'll do the questions. So question number two, or fact number two, gases. Gases, decrease decrease solubility solubility as temperature increases temperature increases so gases are the opposite yeah gases are the exact opposite so if i do the solubility of gases yeah so temp degrees celsius Start at 25, end at 100, the boiling point of water. Yeah. If I looked at gases, I wonder if I can find one. Uh, ammonia. Wowza. Check out ammonia. Blimey. I, I spotted the ammonia there. Look at that. Woo. Straight down. Look at that. It's like, whew. I'll do that in color. Uh, let's do it in green. Ammonia. There we go. Oh, that's not really what I want. Ah, I'm making a mess. Ammonia. There we go. I want to make that smoother. Smoother. There we go. Uh, it never hit zero. There we go. There's ammonia. So, and remember, ammonia is a gas. Yeah. Let's look at another gas. Let's do, let's look for oxygen. See if we can find an SO2, common ones that we tend to see. 
HCLs are gas. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Funky graphs appearing all over the place. SO2. There's SO2. Check out SO2 at the bottom. SO2 is very low anyway. Let's go for SO2 on blue. There we go. There's SO2. Yeah, decreasing as temperatures increasing. Let's look for another one. I quite like the HCL one. Yeah, HCL. Ah, there we go. There we go. There's HCL. Uh, let's do it in red. There we go. There's HCL. I think that was right. Is that on HCL? I don't know. I think I've got it wrong, haven't I? HCL. It's fairly uniform. It's almost linear. Almost. Not quite. It doesn't really level out like that either. It's almost linear. There we go. It's better. I prefer that one. So gases are decreasing. Now, okay. Now, what they're going to do is they're going to do really clever things with these questions at GCSE. Number one, let's just let's just do a couple of GCSE questions on the backs of these. So the problem is I'm going to make all of this stuff disappear. It's annoying that they won't let me. Uh, I have to I have to zoom in massively in order. Okay, uh, let's go down for the questions then, shall we? Okay, so G C S E questions Q's. Okay, so question number one. Uh, question number one. Uh, what what gas is dissolved dissolved in water? What gas is dissolved in water? Gas is dissolved in water to sterilize swimming pools. Sterilize, sterilize, sterilize water. Yeah. So they're pulling on your knowledge. They're, they're linking. They're, they're giving you guys. I'm going to try and close my stupid Spotify since it's not even there anyway. So what gas is dissolved in water to sterilize water? Seems reasonable. On the chat, please, guys. Give me your answer. Go, go, go. Question number two. Yeah. Um, what would happen what would happen to the quantity the quantity of dissolved oxygen dissolved oxygen what would happen to the quantity of dissolved oxygen if water is boiled Love it if water is boiled. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> boiled. That'll do. So, well done, guys. Love to see that. Caitlin, Dom, Sophia, Atti, Alara. Well done. Great job. I love that. Dominic, Dominic says, uh, chlorine. Love it. Really funny. So, you're absolutely right. So, chlorine is dissolved in water. It's a green gas, chlorine. Yeah. Chlorine is a gas, but it does dissolve in water and it sterilizes it. Yeah. Thank you so much, Ati, Alara, and Caitlin, Don, Sophia. Again, same people. I'd like to see other people contributing, please. Love to see Zach saying something on the chat. Come on, guys. Lots of people. Well done. It's going to decrease. Yeah. I'll put it in red. O2 content would decrease. I like it. This is why you should never boil your water before putting it into a fish tank. I've got a story about that, too. Some of you probably know that one. One of my, a long, long time ago, I had a, a, a niece who won, oh, oh, I had a niece that won a fish at a, at, a, at a fairground, and I was with her, oh yeah, that story, I love that Laura knows all my stories, and um, I, I told her that you, you, you can't put steamed fish, tasty, oh, oh my god, put fish in boiling water, right? So Ryan, the, the, the hilarity thing about it is because you can't put a fish into tap water because the tap water contains chlorine. So the fish dies from the chlorine. So what you then do is you've got a choice. You can either buy chlorine removing tablets, but let's be fair, who has access to those? Or you boil the water. But the one thing you've got to do is you boil the water, then you let it cool down, and then you have to leave it for about four hours to get the to allow the oxygen from the air to redissolve. And of course, what she did was she bought the fish, boiled the water, and shoved the fish in boiling water, cooked her fish. And then, of course, I was like, oh, no, you needed to wait for it to cool down. And then 
And then her parents bought her another fish and then she didn't wait long enough and it died again. It was all a mess, disastrous fish, disastrous fish stories. So, okay, next. Okay, so it's quite nice to talk about the gases and they do love this. Wow, so the fish basically suffocated. Atia, yes, it drowned. The fish drowned, serial fish murderer. Oh my goodness, yes, it's true. Yeah, I do. I did feel really bad about that. Like her parents, like really did think that I knew what I was talking about, and uh, I managed to kill two of the fish. It wasn't me. I knew what I was doing. It's just I gave her really bad advice. I just didn't explain it all the way. I didn't do. Oh, I don't know. I do feel bad about that. Poor fish. Am I the murderer or is she the murderer? Or am I just like? Uh, uh, am I? Am I? What am I? I'm. I'm an assistant to the murder. What's that called? Uh. No, it's not a murder assistant. That's just silly. What, what would it be? Two? Yes, two. She killed two fish. Uh, her parents bought the, an accomplice. Thanks, thanks, Alping. I am a, a, I am an accomplice to the fish murders. Yeah, they weren't murders, by the way. That murder suggests on purpose, partner in crime. Yeah, uh, they weren't. They, they, I think they'd be classed as um, as fish slaughter. Yeah, do you know like manslaughter, like involuntary. It's involuntary fish slaughter. That's what it was. Oh my goodness, how have we gone to this conversation? I don't know, it's all going downhill. Right, salts. Let's go back to the solids. So we've kind of looked at the gas questions and they're very clever. Um, but what we now need to do is we now need to look at this in terms of the solids. Now, the way that they always do this at GCSE is they're going to give you the graph. Yeah, and they're going to give you one with po probably three or four lines. See if I can find a really good example. Yes. Let's choose that one. I like that one. It has color. Look at that. Even in 100 grams per 100. Oh, look at that. Ooh, straight out of an Excel. Love it. Well, hello there, an Excel. Uh, paste. La paste. That French for paste, by the way. Oh, no. It, oh, there we go. Hello. It said, we cannot use this in your clipboard. And then it appeared. Right. So they're going to give you a graph, folks. Yeah. So they're going to say to you, number one, Okay, put it on the chat now that you guys have got access to the question. So let's put the questions over here. Question number one. So at what temperature, at what temp, um, at what temp is the solubility, the solubility, is the solubility of NaCl, NaCl, and... KNO3, potassium nitrate, the same. Yeah, so they're seeing if you can read the graph. Give me the answer on the chat, please. Next, question number two. Question number two. Um, question number two. Uh, how ping, uh, it is two, my bad. How ping, um, has a solution, has a solution of sodium nitrate, of sodium nitrate, has a solution of sodium nitrate at 80 degrees Celsius that is saturated, that is saturated, dot, dot, dot. He cools it. He cools it to dot 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 uh, to twenty degrees Celsius. Guys, I'm just going to quickly go and answer my doorbell. Just stay right there. Don't move. Okay, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Ugh. Okay, so first thing, the cops are here. Oh my goodness, run, what are you guys like? So 22, let's have a look, zoom in. So what you guys have done is realizing there's 30, yeah, there's 30, and that's where they become the same. So we would, in a GCSE exam, we would show that dotted line and read it off. If that's 25, it's going to be about 22.5. Anywhere, 22 or 23. Perfect. Great job. FBI, he killed one too many fish. I love the fact that you put fishes. 
I think it's just fish, right? The the plural of fish is fish. <laughs> FBI, but the cops have barged in. Oh my goodness. What are you guys like? You guys are so funny. So the answer to the first question, thank you so many of you on the chat. That was perfect. Yeah, I would have probably said 22.5 um, degrees Celsius. But in reality, in the exam, they'll have a very small margin, probably. 22 to 23 degrees Celsius. I like it. So well done. You read it off. You realize where they come into contact, where they're the same, where they cross over. Dead easy. Okay. Halping has a solution of sodium nitrate at 80 degrees. That's saturated. He cools it down to 20. What mass, mass of sodium nitrate will precipitate? Yet yeah, the word precipitate means a solid appearing in a liquid. The crystals are going to reappear. We need to realize that if you take, uh, I'm just going to quickly see if I can find a, a picture of this. Yeah. So if you take saturated solution cools down, go, images, boom. The cops, you guys are so funny. Um, the plural of fish is usually fish. When referred to more than one species of fish, especially in the science that you can use fishes as the plural. <laughs> Sophia, that's amazing. Uh, right, I just want to show you what happens. So, ooh, I want that video. Oh my God, what a pretty video that is. Look at this. Guys, haha, we can't get the an we can't answer the question if you don't show us the graph. So, yeah, that. Oh, it's made me laugh. I just want to show you the video. Check this out. This is what happens. Yeah, this is what happens when you cool something down. Do the YouTube video. Boom, come on. Come on. Chop, chop. It's thinking about it. Didn't work. Uh-oh. Play! My laptop's going crazy. Oh, go away. You're too slow. Too slow for me. YouTube. YouTube, baby. I am sweating cocks. So hot in this. I'll need to put the aircon on. Saturated solution cools down. Go. Come on, laptop. Come on. Oh, no, you guys are seeing the word super saturated, and it's going to cause me a nightmare. I don't want it. Cooling it. Oh, no. Oh, there you go. That'll do. So if you cool it down, a solid reappears. We, oh, adverts. Go away, advert. Oh, my lap is like so much essays that inspire messages that for no skip ad I want the adverts oh my goodness me four minutes I don't, don't think so I, I want I mean this laptop should be able to handle it really should really really should oh, I don't like it it's too slow fast growing crystal ah oh, I give up I give up, folks. I give up. If you cool down a solution, if you if you take a solution, yeah, if you take a solution which contains salt, yeah, salt solid, put it into the water, salt aqueous. By the way, it wouldn't look like that. It would look like this. That there is literally NaCl aqueous. Yeah, that's literally what it looks like. Yeah, looks like the ions separated like that. If you cool this down, Elway, uh, watching YouTube in a YouTube video, I know, I think that's where it's struggling, Lara. Um, if you cool this down, yeah, if you start off at 80 degrees and you cool it, yeah, down to 20, what's going to happen is you're going to go below the, sat the saturation is the amount at that temperature. Well, the solubility is going to drop and as solids, solid crystals will appear. It'll turn cloudy. You'll form really pretty crystals. Yeah, the crystals are really, really pretty too. I want to show you the pictures of these. See if we can find you the picture. I prefer just the pictures. The pictures are fine. Yeah. Um, 
saturated solution crystals go. You, we'd usually be doing this in lesson, by the way. We just do a short practical where you just get to make one. And they're just, it's just really pretty to watch them because the crystals are so, look how pretty they are. Yeah, crystals form, they're so pretty. If you do it really slowly, you get beautiful big crystals. Oh, can we do this at home? Yes, Atia, you can. Um, you're gonna ask for the, what, what's probably a good one. You can, you can do this with sugar, Atia. If you, if you boil, a cup, boil a cup of boil water in your kettle, pour that water into a, pour a little bit. Oh, okay, practical at home. Okay, cup. <laughs> Looks like an ear. Cup, small amount of water. You don't want loads here. Rock candy, thank you, Hao Ping, spot on. Small amount of water at 100 degrees Celsius. Add loads of sugar. Loads of sugar until it, keep, you add it, dissolve, wait for it to dissolve. Keep adding it until no more dissolves. And then what you do is you decant yeah, decant the hot water into a new cup, yeah, so that there's no crystals in it. And then just wait for the temperature to drop. And what you will see is you will grow crystals of sugar. Yeah, the sugar went in as granular as these tiny pieces, and you will end up with a giant piece of sugar. Crystals will then form. The slower you do it, just to show you, rock candy. Yeah, uh, rock, sugar, um rock sugar saturation practical you can just grow beautiful bits of sugar images look at that you can indeed look at the, the, the crystals are beautiful they're so pretty they're so pretty look at the crystals of sugar i prefer the big look at those ones oh, amazing yeah big crystals of sugar and look at the beautiful shapes one of the things that we don't do, you don't learn about crystal structures until first year degree. It's called crystal lattice theory. But all the solids have different crystal shapes, which is really cool. Yeah, you get to see all kinds of cool shapes and how there really is structure in everything that's in the universe. It's beautiful. Uh, let's get rid of all this stuff. So we're going to see, if we cool it down, we're going to see the solid reappear. Yeah, the solid will reappear. If you have a go, Atia, if you do do that at home, I don't expect you to, you don't have to. But if you do want to have a go at it, please, um, if I'm able to make it, can I post it? Oh, my God, I'd love you to, Atia. I'd love you to. That would be fab. Yeah. By the way, the great thing is you can also use tap water because when you boil it, you'll drive away the chlorine. Yeah, which is quite nice. Uh, I'd probably use, use bottled water, though. You might get a better result. Okay. So the question is, he calls it what mass of sodium that will precipitate? Right, what do we go from? 80 to 20. So how ping had potassium, had sodium nitrate? Yeah, so it's this graph, the yellow one. He had a saturated solution at 80. So we can now read that off. Let's read off that, that line there. You'd have to use a ruler in your exam, and you'd need to show it too. I'm going to use my ruler. I never use the ruler on this thing. Yeah, so there's where the line, I'm just going to get rid of all those stuff. That's where the line crosses at 80 degrees Celsius. Yeah. I want it to be fatter. Fat, fat. There we go. Okay, so get rid of my ruler. So at 80 degrees Celsius, I had grams per 100. I had 120, let's say 26 grams in the water. Right, he cooled it down to 20. Cooled it down to 20, which is here. Yeah, I'm going to draw that line across there as well. There we go. So what's going to happen is the solubility is going to drop, and it's going to drop if that there is 75. Yeah, it's going to be give or take about 82 or something, something like that. Yeah, so we're going to have all of the, the solubility is going to drop and that's going to precipitate out. Now in your exam, the graphs will be easier to read. Yeah. So in my exam, two marks, I'm going to do 126 grams minus 82 grams. What was left in the water on 26 minus 82 gives me, I'm going to have 44 grams. I'm going to have 44 grams of solid sodium nitrate crystals appear. 
yeah, crystals will appear, which is kind of cool. It looks really pretty. Amazing. So this is all, I may, I'm, I'm suddenly realizing I've only got five minutes left of the lesson, and we've only just come to the end of key stage three, solubility. So what I'm going to do, apply solubility. So I'm going to tick off that learning objective, and we're going to come back to these to this next lesson, solubility part two. Yeah, so I'm gonna leave it there. We really did have to discuss this. There are other things as well, which are really frustrating. Um, other questions which need to be talked about. I've got five minutes. So just to quickly say, let's say you're given this graph here. Yeah, and we choose a temperature there. Yeah, uh, in fact, let's move it a little bit. Let's go for here. Yeah, let's say I've got a, a solution containing sodium chloride, potassium chloride, and potassium nitrate, all of them, yeah? What you realize is the potassium nitrate has the highest solubility at that temperature. If I were to rapidly cool this solution, yeah? If I rapidly cooled that solution, what's, what's going to happen is I'm going to, if I take a solution, take a solution, this, what temperature is this at? Uh, 75, that's awkward. Uh, let's say, let's say 60 just for fun. Yeah. Let's say it's 60 degrees Celsius. Yeah. And I rapidly cooled. In fact, oh, mm, hang on a sec. Got to be careful here. I have it at 60 degrees and I, and it's saturated, has to be saturated. And I allow it to evaporate. I just leave it to stand to cool. What I'm going to get, and you're gonna you're gonna love this. So I'm actually gonna get three layers of salt. Like this is genuinely true. Yeah, when this cools down, I'm going to get three layers of salt appearing. And the order of the layers is going to be dependent on the solubility. You realize that the potassium nitrate is the highest. Yeah, so it's gonna stay in solution longest. The sodium chloride is going to appear first because it was the least soluble at that temperature. It's gonna crystallize out and I'm gonna get three layers of salt. The sodium chloride will be on the bottom because it was the lowest. This potassium chloride will be second and the potassium nitrate will be last at 60 degrees Celsius. If I had cooled it down, if I had the same solution, but this time I had it at, I had it at, I don't know, 35 degrees Celsius, I'm gonna see a different order of salts appearing. Yeah, I'm going to see the potassium nitrate's going to appear first. Yeah, if this is at 35, at the end of it, when it evaporates, my three layers of still have water. Yeah, a bit of water left behind. I'm going to have three layers of salts, and they're going to be in a different order. The potassium nitrate will drop out first, so that one will then be on the bottom. And then what's next? Can I remember? Graphs, graphs, graphs. And then this potassium chloride is going to be next and then the potassium and then the sodium chloride will be third. So you get this really funny layering issue when, this, when, the, when it precipitates out, depending on the temperature you had it at. And I know it, it's an interesting concept, this, and it, 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 it doesn't actually work particularly well, but they do tend to ask about it at GCSE, which is quite frustrating. Right, I'm gonna end the lesson because we're right to the wire here, folks. I'm gonna end the lesson. I will post your homework. You've got homework, guys for just some key stage three, some year seven solubility questions. Boom, there we go, I'm back. Right guys, I'll post the homework on the classroom. There's not many, there's very few, you just one graph and some questions about it, which is good. And I will see you guys tomorrow to finish off solubility. Guys, have a good rest of your day. See you later everybody.